What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be my first impressions and first print of the Surreal Glow in the Dark PLA from Amazon. So let's get into it. Okay, a few specifications to get us started. It's a one kilogram roll. Um, it is 1.75 millimeters in diameter. The advert says that it's high strength, almost warp free, good interlayer adhesion, good toughness, high quality, and that their filaments are of perfect roundness and tight diameter tolerance. Although they don't actually specify, unless I'm missing it somewhere, how tight the tolerances are. So let's get it open. So here we are, here's the surreal glow in the dark PLA. You can see it inside there, hopefully, if I'm aiming the camera right. I can barely see the screen, so apologies if this turns out absolutely awful. So uh, let's quickly get it open, have a quick look. Any kids watching, you never saw me do that. Here we are, the, the box. Oh. Right. Yeah, there we are. Comes in a fairly uh, there we go. Fairly uh, standard spool. Uh no windows, so you can't really see how much filament you've got left, which is a shame, but neither here nor there. Let's use the scissors properly this time, how they're supposed to be used. Oh, oh, dear. oh, there we go. Oh, that's a... Uh, that might be a black mark against it. Well, not really, but uh, it is kind of nice that... Um, you know, okay. Oh, goodness me. Um, yeah. Normally, they come with these little baggies, which are like... Um, I don't know what this. Silica, that's it. Silica gel, which helps absorb moisture, but this doesn't, which is a shame, but not too much of a thing. Really interesting. It smells as well. Um, has that got a coating on it? I'm trying to tell whether it's got a coating over it. Yes, it has. Oh, so it's a it's pretty well lit. Look, they are. They even wrap it in the. Uh, a nice thing to help keep the moisture out. But there we go. Right, I think what we should do now, uh, they claim on the um, on the website that you can print it with standard PLA settings and I am actually talking at my arse, there is one. Never mind, I'm going to completely discount that. <laughs> they have a silica thing in the middle. So yeah, actually packaged rather well. So uh, I'm going to have a go at printing this with the little cocoon bot that we did in the first 3D printing video um, because that's standard PLA settings and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So well, there we have him, nicely printed, actually printed really well. Uh, standard PLA settings didn't change anything from 
the default G code that you get off the Balco site or Cocoon Create, whichever one you're using. So that's actually really cool. Um, but you don't want to see this, you want to see the lights turn off, don't you? So give me a moment. Now, unfortunately, this is in the middle of the day, so finding somewhere that is dark enough to do this, I'm currently sat on the floor in my office with everything closed. But uh, yeah, there you are. Um, that's only with a few minutes worth of um, sunlight. And uh, it's come out, actually, it, it does look pretty cool. Like, when you blast the um, LED light from, like, my phone, for example, on it, he glows a lot better. In fact, I'm going to do that in two seconds. OK, I think I've just made it worse, but you get the idea. If I zoom in a bit, right, there we are. There we go. You see him glowing a bit. It's, uh, this really doesn't do it justice or whatever um, on the camera, but, yeah, uh, it glows rather well, so that's actually really cool. So let's go over the pros and cons of this filament so far. Um, pros, uh, it's very cheap. Uh, it only cost me £12 for a kilogram roll, which is equal to about 330 metres or so. So pretty damn good there. Uh, prints with standard PLA settings. Um, I didn't make any adjustments to the settings whatsoever. Um, it's really good quality as well. Prints... Um, like you can see from the little cocoon robot, whatever, prints really well with minimal stringing. And um, it's, I, I think the main one is, is it's fun for projects. It's fun for those little um, projects where you want something a bit different and a bit a uh, bit, bit of pizzazz, shall we say. So uh, moving on to the cons. Uh, well, I say cons. A con, the only one I can see is that it doesn't really stay charged for that long, the actual... Um, glow in the dark part of it and I'm guessing that's just down to the limitations of being able to have enough phosphorus or whatever it is they, <laughs> they use inside the um, the PLA mix or whatever it has to be between below a certain level so it can still print okay but then you want to still get the glow in the dark from it so it's a happy medium but it works it's good personally I'm planning on using this quite a bit and um, there's a project or a few projects coming up but the main project coming up very shortly is actually a mod uh, that I'm going to be doing for my Driving Force GT steering wheel so keep a look out for that, uh, it's going to be in collaboration with Aaron MC 182 because, uh, well I say in collaboration he wants me to print it for him but uh, you'll see it on both of our channels and hopefully we'll get a video of us using the uh, the mod, I'm not going to give too much away but it, it's very good, you'll, you'll enjoy it so there you have it, that's the surreal glow the dark PLA, first impressions and first print. Um, if I were to give it a score, probably out of 10 at the moment, I'd probably be up there 8 or a 9, but then again, this is not a full review, don't take this as a full review, this is just my first impressions and how it printed for me the first time. So, uh, after I've printed a bit more, I'll try and do a bit more of an in-depth thing. But yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I shall see you next time. Ta-da! <laughs>